Speaker of the House Nancy Pelosi has tested positive for COVID-19. A spokesperson for Pelosi's office said today she received a positive result after taking a negative test earlier this week. He also said Pelosi is vaccinated and boosted and currently has no symptoms. It's worth noting she attended events at the White House at which President Biden spoke on Tuesday and on Wednesday. A planned congressional delegation to Asia led by Pelosi will now be postponed to a later date. Joining us now is CBS News congressional correspondent Scott McFarland with more on this. Hi, Scott. So what more do we know about the speaker's positive test and who she may have come into contact with? Her staff says she is asymptomatic and that she is isolating, but she came in contact with the pillars of Washington power over the past 24 hours, set aside all the members of the U.S. House that she likely comes in contact with on a daily basis. Over the past 24 hours, she was side by side with President Biden, with Senate Majority Leader Schumer, with other members of the U.S. Senate, and they were not only in close proximity, as you see in that photo, they were maskless. Now, that's not just a U.S. senator to her side. That's the Senate Majority Leader, who shortly will be overseeing a historic Senate or Supreme Court confirmation vote. That vote will proceed as scheduled today. I just caught up with Senator Rob Portman of Ohio, who is behind the speaker in that photo. He says he wasn't in close proximity to her for more than just a few moments and is not isolating. He'll be at the vote. The other senators in the photo will likely be at the vote. That being said, this is a city that is just swimming in COVID cases over the past few days. There was a major Washington, D.C. weekend event where many powerful leaders were in attendance. And one of them, the U.S. Attorney General Merrick Garland, has tested positive for COVID. And he is isolating. All of this is happening just on a particularly busy, impactful, and some would say historic week here at the U.S. Capitol. You know, the Democrats uh, needing every vote they can get for the Judge Ketanji Brown Jackson's Absolutely. confirmation. Votes. And I guess there's no virtual voting, right? That's right. All right. There, well, there is in the U.S. House. I'm glad you asked that question mm. because the House for two years has employed proxy voting, where if you're sick, if you're isolating or can't make the vote, you can hand off your vote to another member to make on your behalf. And that's been controversial. In fact, Speaker Pelosi has been taking criticism from Republicans for having that system in place. And here we are with Speaker Pelosi now testing positive. That type of system, the formal proxy letter voting system, does not exist in the U.S. Senate. Those 100 senators will have to be there in person today to make this vote. And there are no votes to spare. There really is no significant margin for error. What's more, senators don't want to miss this vote. This is part of their historical record in a unique, distinctive way. They need and want to be there. Great insight. Very, very great insight. Scott McFarland on Capitol Hill, thank you so much. We appreciate it. Thank you.